them here. And uh, we already have these upgrades, so let's let's sit on the money. Could have unlocked fangs at least. So right now these units are just being pulled and it does nothing for him. Like for real, it does nothing. I don't have the chaff required to really deal with this because his boat once again locks on and then there's uh, only the phoenixes left. But maybe the phoenixes are enough. It's not going to be enough on this side though. We definitely need more on the arc lights. And this is a horrible tower debuff. Yep. Not having EMP on the phoenixes is bad, but I was trying some other builds for them. I'm not dead yet, but it's definitely piling up quickly now. I kind of need more chaff in front. Well, here's more chaff and also melters. Could I just mass melter this nonsense? He has wasps. No, he does not. He does not have wasps. Oh, interesting. There's not really much to explode with rhinos, honestly. This is an amazing pull. I should do this on the other side as well. Like, for real. Uh, since I need chaff, I don't even think that these Mustangs are bad here. They do get a decent amount of damage here, not here though. So let's see how much I can actually pull and um, get away and everything. I want something in front here. And do I then just drop the boat hammer now that I have some more chaff clear? I think I just plain do that. I'm going to put my boats in a formation where if I photon them, they will all at the same time get photon buffs. And what do I do then? I think I need to buy out here and mass recruit myself another crawler pack. Oops, that is the overlord. I don't want to move that. Uh, this is four spaces. One, two, three, four. Let's see if he was symmetrical and it pulls the other one. And let's rank this and just throw some missiles here in order to prevent chaff. Okay, he's going for launcher overlord and range. Launcher overload, I should say. Not launcher overlord, even though technically I guess it's not wrong. So this got cleaned up way too fast. This tire, oh no, it's locking onto that. Yeah, the boat is getting smashed, but these boats are smashing themselves. I think I got this turn. He did not have the chaff because of the missiles, and the missiles were, I think, vital here. I don't like wasting money on consumables, but I think it's necessary here. This is going to end up being a turn with a lot of XP for me, especially on this pack of phoenixes that is, yeah, going to level. They did, uh, what was this, almost 85k damage this time. Oh, is range really all that worth it? I honestly think it kinda is. But all these options are good. All of them. Without exception, I would say. Let's go... Let's go with Amcor. Put that on the other bo Well... Which of these boats dealt more damage? Definitely this one. So let's give it to that boat. Let's add Photon. Give these units some more stuff. And what do I put in front that is going to be horrifyingly annoying to him? I feel like some crawlers that are actually splitting. So put them like in here and put them yeah actually symmetrical position here then let's level some arc light or one arc light let's also get our temporary buffs and since I think it's worth it let's also buy out and let us mass recruit another crawler unit one that will kind of split here. Can I get a... Yeah, I can get a triple split and a missile here. It's a lot of wasted money, but I think it's necessary. He might intercept that missile, but I'm not sure if it's going to be intercepted. It's not that 
close. No, it's not going to get intercepted. I got Photon as a buff, which is going to make a bunch of stuff more tanky. Not sure how much it's actually going to do. But it should help a bit against the chaff clear of the tanks. My flanks are still, like, the most annoying thing to him that has ever existed, I think. Boat is being targeted, but it's the M-Court one, so it's not dead yet. It's dead now, though. I'm breaking through on this side, but I'm not sure if it's going to be... Oh, no. Ah, that is unfortunate. GG. I think at least this is GG, or is it not? Oh, not yet. He did level and everything, though, so I uh, kind of expect to be dead next turn. Orbital Gemlin, he does have jump drive, right? No, he does not have jump drive. He cannot get his boats out of the way. Oh, this is potentially horrible. Let's drop it, like, here. He has so much chaff, I need to think about how I deal with that. And let's drop the hammer... Potentially here. This I cannot kill. With uh, the javelin. Let's drop the hammer, like, here. It's the juiciest target, and the riskiest target, and uh, hopefully what I need. Then I need to think about more chaff, clear. And I honestly think that fire is not bad. I hope that I can finish it this turn, because if not, I'm probably dead anyway. So let's also add some oil here. Oil that he cannot possibly stop. My crawlers are leveled, so they are not going to die all that quickly anyway. Um, and again, let's put it a bit closer to his side. Let's put it like here. And then definitely buy out, get this, and add two Vulcans, which I can do. Ah, oh, no, I cannot. Ah, yes, because I'm elite. Ah. All right. An arc light here and a level on this arc light will hopefully have to do. He's got a shield, though. Okay, he's definitely doing that, but I'm still getting this boat and the marksman here. He's getting more stuff here. This should immediately get under, uh, get fired, basically. This at least gets one boat and the marksman. This chaff is super annoying to him. I wonder if we can win this. I am at least moving in under uh, chaff on his overlords here. And that is like, it does not get better than this, I guess. But can I still kill this one? Well, the tower debuff is in, and this other thing is healing. Oh, that was important. I think that was the game-winning moment here, hopefully. Maybe not. It was. Okay. I still had some anti-air left. I don't have flames this time around, though. So it's panic time. I think I definitely need to range my boats this time. I don't think there's any alternative to it. How horrifying will it be to have steel boars in your flank with these marksmen? I don't know if it will be all too horrifying. I think I'd just take the most expensive thing, which should be the scorpion, and sell it. Definitely go get range here, not launcher overload though. And I think it's time to just add more of these. Buy out. And for the rest of the money, I was thinking about wasp production. But is that worth it against these marksmen? I think I just, like, I throw mass missiles down. Against everything, basically. And then I... Level and uh, splash whatever Mustangs I can find, basically. He's going for the UFOs, okay. I'm gonna say GG either way, because I expect this turn to be it. Is he shielding? Why is he not using his airdrop shield? Like, this is a lot of missiles, but I think it's 
Like, what's the alternative? Tell me what the alternative is. Now, this time I have higher range than his stuff. But uh, do I have the chaff clear to even make it matter? I think I do on this side. The EO4 here has died. Bunch of more overlords have gone down. I don't think I have the chaff clear to make it work. I didn't have the chaff clear to make it work, even with all the missiles. Like, this boat is too fat, I think. I can't kill it. Yeah. Well, I did already GG. Yeah, it was close. Oh, what is happening? I'm not even trying to do anything super stupid. Well, I did. I did kind of try to go for some carry arc lights into aggro. And maybe that is not the play. Um, into these marksmen, anyway. If I had EMP on the arc lights, it would have been good. I'm not entirely sure. I think my arrow was investing into the arc lights. Um... And probably Photon was also not that good because he was mostly stuck on Chaff. But uh, all in all, pretty close, honestly. Not a uncompetitive game, but honestly, I think with this shield blocking, like put the shield here, block two of these crawler packs from de being destroyed, and I think I just instantly go and dis get destroyed. I'm not sure why he was forgetting it. So on his part, it was also easier.